know what's amazing to me? I ha have arranged for a couple of radio people to come do recon here. But you know what, guys? I'm going to do recon myself. <laughs> I want you guys to sit here, watch me. I'm going to go in and no. do recon myself. Let's go. <laughs> Willie's frozen. Get your ass up off the bar, Willie. What are you doing? <laughs> I guess they must be very busy. So look at this, this is Old Town Sacramento. About 3.9 million tourists come here, spend almost $4 billion a year. Oh, wow. The bar we're going to is called Sack Town. This is it, man. You're looking at it. So this bar was opened by Chris three years ago. Okay. I love you guys like a third cousin. He opens up the sports bar. They now have about $300,000 into it. Guy's losing eight grand a month. And he has enough money to make it about two months. Mm. So here's what I did. I got about 40 people. Mm. They're standing around a corner. Okay. We're going to put on these hats. Oh, we're going in spy style. We're going to walk in that line, incognito. Yeah. And let's experience this place from the inside. All right, cool, cool. I'm following you. John and I are going to do recon together. I think it's going to be great. I have no fears, except for, you know, raw food. Not real good with raw food. Not looking forward to that part. But let's do it. Just, get, just go in? Like nothing ever happens. Oh my God. Come on in. Kinda just got uh, crowded. Welcome to our very quiet bar. Thank you. Yeah. We'll be right with you guys. Hey, guys. What do you want to try, buddy? Want to try the wings? Sure. Definitely want to try the New York steak. A uh, French dip as well. Does that look good to you? I think they could have brought in just a live cow and put it on the table, and I think it would have been about in the same area. Look at this pain. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't recommend this food. You don't? You don't recommend the food. How come? What did you have? So it's sort of like this one. You got to Oh, come on, John. <laughs> I mean, look at this. This is not what a French dip is. Oh, John, you got to stop this. <laughs> Can I ask yep. you a question? Sure. Is there a cook or a kitchen manager or somebody? I do, yeah. Let me take that to show then and... No, leave this here mm -hmm. and have him come up. Okay? Sure, I'll be back. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be the better part. Ricardo. Yes, sir. A table's looking for you. What table? And it's that guy. The guy? That guy. How you doing? Not too bad. Would you want to eat that? No, sir. Would you want to eat that? No, sir. Why not? It doesn't look appealing. It doesn't look appetizing. Where's Chris, the owner? Is the owner here? Yes, he's here. This is not the experience I wanted John to have tonight. See, this is embarrassing. In the middle, bro. Oh, shit. Not good? Holy shit. Been walking around all night, and I didn't see him. Welcome to our very quiet bar. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, crap. So clearly my blinders are on, right? Hello, I'm John. Hey, John. How are you? Yeah. This is T-Pain, good friend of mine, hey, by the way. How are you, man? Very nice to meet you. T-Pain comes here, orders a steak. I order a French dip. Then we go to eat the wings. Look at this. Yeah. No crisp, rubbery, it's not cooked right. Look at this. How was your drink, Pain? <laughs> it's just beer alcohol. When I look at this, do you deserve to succeed? No. So you deserve to fail. I guess I do. There's not one thing you got right. I got my king's wall right. <laughs> Is losing hundreds of thousands of dollars a smiling matter? No, it's not. So let's get freaking serious here. Look at that. Look at that sandwich. You're fighting with that thing. It's like a piece of leather. So let me ask you a question. Should she pay for that? No. Okay, so how was that food at that table down there? Was that good? No. Okay, so we're on a roll here. Oh, so shit. this Start food was terrible? Okay, so should she eat this? No. Oh. Cop the table. Let's move on down here. How about your food? Was this good? Yeah. It was terrible. Oh, cop this meal. Okay, let's keep going, guys. We're on a roll. How was this food? Not good, so look at this one. Let's cop this one too. You're gonna cop every 
every one of these meals. It's your failure, not theirs. Buy their freaking dinner. Look at the front of this place. What do you think of those lights around the windows? Terrible. Makes me think of a strip club. You guys got to see the size of this place, so look at it. You walk in, big L-shaped bar, nice size kitchen. Look at all these tables. It's big. Boots everywhere. People love boots. It's a good size bar. Yeah. Why is no one in it? Doesn't even look like they're open. As I say, are they open? I have never been to a bar like this where we can't watch them cook anything. We can't watch them make anything. How do we assess this operation? We don't know what to fix. Everything was just dropped on me over one night. It's not been overnight. Everything's still working. What needs to so be done So what's been right? done about it, though? Everything. I've been talking to So where's to the them, results at? So they're screaming and yelling. There's not one customer in this room. We can't even evaluate this operation. Do you know what? I'm going to be 10 customers. I'm going to go in and order the food for 10 people, order the drinks for 10 people. I'm going to put them to work. Now they're going to get busy. Hi, welcome to Fat Boss. Good thing I made a reservation, huh? There's a seat anywhere you want. When I seen him come through, I was like, oh, there's some things that need to be addressed, and he's the one to do it. How can there be nobody here? <sighs> it is the way now. This is the way now it is? It's the way it is now. OK, so here's what we're going to do. Push two of these tables together. Come help me. Give me a menu. Give me a server. OK, here's what's going on. I am now going to be 10 customers. OK. Can I interest you in a drink? Can I recommend the strawberry surprise? Sure. I also want to try a root of all evil, a mojito, a tequila sunrise, a fat balls cherry bomb, a jet fuel. That sounds real good. A blue sapphire, a sunset over fat balls, a backseat boogie, and a pineapple island. I want to see how we do. You think they're going to do well? If I had to put my money on it, they probably wouldn't get those drinks right. How come? Because they haven't been trained properly. Whose fault is that? I'm all over the place. I can't train them when I'm doing other stuff that also needs to be done. I want to order some food. Order. Let me try Mama's spinach dip and chips. Some onion rings and a quesadilla. Hey, man, let's get this thing going, man. I try to wake up, man. Have a Philly steak. Let me have a pulled pork sandwich. Let me have a po' boy. A fat balls burger, a brunch burger, a blue balls burger. That boy, that's very appealing. A lot of women are going to order that. And a fire balls burger. And let me have an order of snow crabs legs. Yeah, I go, man. Yeah, I go. We're done. OK, let me see the drinks. Bring them over. Because I'm now the only customer you got, aren't I? I would hope you'd get it right. This is really, really awkward. What is this? That's the sunset over fat bar. How sweet is that? Yeah, it's still sweet. That's the strawberry surprise. Come taste it. Come on, Tony. Is that right, Tony? What about the next one? Is that right? <coughs> that one might be a little better. It's not. It's, it's the backseat bad. boogie Ugh. or blue sapphire. That drink is nasty in general. Yeah. Yeah. Only two of them were decent. Those are awful. Awful. Would you come back for those? No. Do you think old. that might play a part? as to why we're empty? Where's the food? Are you guys cooking back there? Got the got egg boy, I got the ball boy. Fat ball burger, blue ball burger. Let's keep going. Let's get everything out here, guys. Will you bring out one plate without the rest? Would you leave everybody else without food? Let's go, bring it all out at once. We want it all out at once. Come on, it's a table. You don't bring it out one at a time, right? That's why I ordered it at once. I got a minute, man. I got burgers and all that. I ain't rushing. I've been waiting 25 minutes for food. I understand that people wait an hour for food here. Walk out, right? Where's my food? Be patient. No, I'm not patient. I want my freaking food. And I want it right. Go get it when it comes. Who said that? Please. What did you say? I said you want to get your food when it's prepared. You got to be patient. This is your staff. Go fire his ass. Take control of your business. Is that the kind of employee you want here? Hey, man, is this the way we talk to customers, man? 
I mean, Tony, yeah, but we just want. But how can we run a professional business, man? Listen, I don't want to hear. It. I'm sorry. You gotta go, man. I'm sorry. You gotta get out of here. John Taffer, he placed in like four burgers at one time, some egg rolls at one time. If you putting all these orders in at one time, you being an ass, really. What do we do, Tony? I had to let him go. Respect due to a dog. I don't care what you're trying to do. You ain't finna disrespect me. The place doesn't look filthy. The location isn't that bad. So how the hell does this guy lose ten to fifteen thousand dollars a month? There's something we're not seeing. Yeah. So here's what I'd like to do. I'd love the two of you guys to go in, grab a seat at the table, see if you can draw, you know, a little attention to yourselves. And I'm gonna sneak in a minute or two behind you. Okay. Okay. I'm Sounds gonna great. put on my hat. <laughs> I'm gonna go sit down at the bar, try to be incognito. And let's see what it's like when we're actually okay. in there. Yeah. Okay. Sounds okay. like a great. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's go. I'll start off with the Cadillac. Cadillac margarita. Yes. yes. Uh, salt rocks. Yeah. Salt. Salt. You got it. Uh, tamarindo. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. All right. Thanks. <laughs> and um. You come here often? Used to. Used to? Is the food good here? Huh? Is the food good here? Um, Maybe. <laughs> we got a drink. Yeah, I can see. Who's making the Mexican candies? That's next. You're, you're up next, right? You gotta wait your turn. Take you a while to get that? Yeah. Did it? After a while, I'm gonna start drinking your drink. <laughs> Yeah, right? <laughs> Good thing about you want to share your drink with me? Because I'm not getting one. I would... <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Thank you for your patience. What are we having? Uh, margarita. <laughs> All right. House, Cadillac, Tabarindo, peach, mango, strawberry. Cadillac, strawberry. All right, sounds good. Are we out of tequila? We're out of tequila. Whatever, I don't care, whatever. Currently, we're out of everything, so just use whatever we got, okay? Here we go. Thank you for your patience. Cadillac strawberry. And we're out of shot glasses, so here you go. Use that glass for you. Should not be in a margarita glass? What do you think, buddy? Mm. It's got the flavor, it's got the cake, but too sweet. Wow, she's actually picking stuff up. <laughs> These aren't mine. These are not yours either? No. How long has that been sitting there? Good. 15 minutes yeah. at least. I'm just saying, look at that table over there. Or these guys over here. That money is still I mean, sitting no, there. This one? I don't hear the <laughs> ticket over there. Who put them there? I, not me. I don't know. Are they yours? No, they're not mine. I've seen all I need to see. The service is terrible. The bartenders are all over the place. All Juan does is scream at his employees all night long, so he's not seeing any of this. Good night. Juan. Do you know who I am? Yeah, I sure do. So you're talking to Chester. Oh, okay. Because I waited about 15 minutes for a drink. That was a pretty shitty drink. But what's amazing to me is, I mean, look at that table. Look at all the plates everywhere. Come with me. Juan, sit there. I mean, do you want to taste that and tell me if that's right? That's my drink right there. No, it's horrible. Because there's way too much mix in there. It's the wrong glass, right? Right. How's that look over there? Horrible. How about the end of the bar? Bad. Who's supposed to be picking this food up? Because the bartenders aren't. Servers? I don't have any busters, so be Oops, so, so do they know that? Because you've been walking by. You were standing here making drinks. You didn't pick up his plate. This isn't my beer. It's been sitting in front of me for 20 minutes. This isn't my beer. It was sitting there. This is not my money. That's been sitting there before I got there, right, Mario? Yeah. I don't understand. Come talk to me. Why is this place feeling? I've seen worse locations. I've seen worse kitchen staffs. I've seen worse bartenders. Why are you losing so much money? How are you supposed to soar like an eagle when you're surrounded by turkeys sometimes? So, they're turkeys. I, I, I'm not. Guys, when I ask him why he's failing, he says, because the turkey's like you. Are you kidding? Yeah. Is that the way you phrase it? That's what you said. Oh, because the turkeys. No, you take certain words that you're going to sound. No, that's what you said. No, no, no. no.
Did okay, you say the, the word now. turkeys? Yes, I did. And were you yes, referring to them? Yes. I, okay, so, no, I, here turkeys. we go. No, us turkeys are working for free. For you. Exactly. What do you mean? Free. Free. We have free. not got paid you for a month. A month? My so ass, you haven't got paid for a month. Free One week. What? So she's lying. So she's a lying turkey. Uh, I guess if that's what you want to call it. You're the one who put the words in those mouths. No, you said turkey no. referring to them. No. I didn't put any words in your mouth. No. Don't even try that shit no. with me. No, no, that no, won't no. work. Yeah. Did you say the word turkey? Yes. Did you say it referring yeah, we to not... them? Yes, I said it. So okay, so then all... shut the f up. This boardwalk has eight to 9,000 people a day walking by. Look at the tourists and the locals everywhere. Look at how beautiful it is. Gorgeous. There it is, Toucan's Oceanside Bar and Grill. Look at the asset that this is. It's on a corner, on the boardwalk. Look at the bar over there. It's a Latin concept. Feel the energy? Yeah, good energy. It's exciting. It's drawing people in. And look at this place. Dead, go stop. Completely dead. I'm not sure how I'm going to do recon with the bar empty. But actually, we're the target demo. Technically, we're tourists. Let's go in and do our own recon. Let's do it. You ready? Ready. Let's go. Let's go. When John came in the front door, I thought that I'm about to get bombarded. I didn't know what to think. So there's nobody here, and nobody's coming to take our order. Can we order? Yeah. All right. Hi. Hello. Do you have any specialty cocktails? The caparina, the margaritas, and mojitos. OK, so we'll have each of those. OK. We'll also do your Bloody Mary. OK. You got a pad? No. Why don't you have a pad with you? I mean, we're ordering an awful lot of stuff. You're setting yourself up to be embarrassed 10 minutes from now, right? OK. Go get a pad. OK. It'd be helpful if you had it in your pocket when you got here. I'm a bartender. So she says I'm a bartender. So there's no waitress here then. So they understand that they're not going to have business tonight. They've accepted that. They're not doing anything about it. They've lost all passion. Do we have pads? Oh. John, we need pens. Pads. Hmm? Pads. pads. This should be so bad. Brought four out last night. Pads. OK, I have Bloody Mary, but then I also have the caparina, margarita, and a mojito. I also want to have a pina colada, a strawberry daiquiri, a Tom Collins, a vodka Collins, a tequila sunrise, a Mai Tai, planter's punch, and a zombie. What kind of oysters do you have? Blue point. OK, let's go with a dozen. OK. Thanks. I've never heard of a zombie. Come over here. OK, yeah, I don't know what the to do. I don't know what to do right now. He wants one of everything on the menu. These things are breaking apart like crap. Cracking it. OK, this is the pina colada. What's that one? This is tequila sunrise. OK, kind of want to give that a taste sure. This is the zombie, but we don't have papaya juice. There's no papaya juice in the zombie, just so you know. These are the Bloody Marys, obviously. All right, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to take a look at the food. I wanted to try some of the drinks to see what we got. OK. I can't really assess how you run this bar with nobody in it. Now, I'm going to let about 60 people in this bar, literally in about 60 seconds. Okay. And let's let the proverbial hit the fan, and let's see what happens. All right, guys? You got it. Hi. So these are all my friends coming in. Oh, I need menus. What can I get for you? Can I get a captain and diet? Ridiculous. How many? The bottom. Oh, my God. They have a chance to make a lot of money tonight. They got their two bartenders on. Both owners are here. They should be able to pull this off. I got captain. I got First somebody else. Said. This is beyond slam. This is ridiculous. I order one of everything. Every appetizer, every thing. I'm only one person. You got a shrimp on the floor. You got a rat trap over here. This place is a friggin' disaster. Bull. You paid enough for this. What's the guy going? He just quit. He just left. This place is a hole. I just got to share with you. I mean, look at this. All this stuff sitting out of room temperature like this. I'm glad I didn't get the ribs. I mean, this is your food. Everything is unwrapped. Look at this freaking place. I mean, that's just sludge. I mean, look at this. This is your future. You know you got to clean this place before I even come back here. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. I will have nothing to do with this, and neither should you. Shut it the down. Let's go. 
Gillies is owned by Willie. There's Willie, okay? Willie, believe it or not, is a graduate of Johnson & Wales, great culinary university, one of the best. Oh yes, that definitely. Was a GM for a major national hotel franchise for 18 years. Huh. So this should be a really well-rounded, really capable culinarian. Would you agree? I would definitely agree with that. What do you have in honor? So Phil, the bartenders are having shots. They just started their shift. What are they doing? Willie's drinking a beer. <laughs> so what happens three hours from now? Willie, it's another bottle gone. That explains why a lot of things are not done, right? Because they're probably, we'll say, exhausted by the end of the shift. Probably if they can even see straight at the end of the shift. Yep. Willie wakes up every day, and does he do anything? Uh, would you say he does anything? He then? does nothing, and it's almost like he cut class at the university he went to. So Willie's done nothing. You know what's amazing to me? I ha have arranged for a couple of radio people to come do recon here. But you know what, guys? I'm gonna do recon myself. <laughs> I want you guys to sit here, watch me. I'm gonna go in and no. do recon myself. I want to see if Willie will do anything. <laughs> Let's go. All right, let's see how long it takes for Willie to come greet John Taffer in your bar. <laughs> Willie's frozen. Get your ass up off the bar, Willie. What are you doing? He's what is right happening now. right now? A few minutes to thaw out. I guess they must be very busy. What do we got, five minutes now? John's been sitting in there? Five minutes John's been sitting in there now. They haven't even seen him. Look at John. Oh, he's getting pissed. This is just gonna fester, man. This is this not- This is it. Do I have to come over there to get something or do you guys come to me? If I wanna order. When John walked in, I absolutely didn't notice him, but then as soon as it was made to my acknowledgement, I was like, oh, snap. Did you not see me? I. No. Oh, because she saw me walking. I've been sitting here for quite a while. The, the cook is really <laughs> slow, freaking slow. I'm sorry. What's your name? Alana. Hi, Alana. <laughs> so, so I want you to do something for me. Okay. I want you to get a pad and a pen and come back. Because okay. I'm going to order a bunch of stuff. All right. Okay. Oh, you want to be on your own? You didn't you right, not you're right. Did not. So I want to try nachos, mm -hmm. chicken potato skins. All right. What's Willie really doing? Willie, anybody home? There's no fire in him at all. Look at him. Don't tell the cook this is for me. Just put the order in, okay? Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you. You can read his mind. Like, you know what he's saying right now. Mm -hmm. Now he's like, okay, what else is going on in here? Where's Willie? <laughs> Where did Willie go? Oh, he's going in the kitchen. Uh oh. You seen Willie? Probably having a complaint. I mean, yeah. Willie, right. How are you, sir? Good. Is your name Brian? It is. Is this your kitchen? It is. Gentlemen, this might be one of the dirtiest kitchens I've ever seen in my life. Well, I guess I have to go in. Get him, get him, get him, get him. So when John calls me in, I don't know if I'm gonna choke on the smell in the place, but this by far is the worst kitchen that I've seen doing this. My work is cut out for me. This is filled with bacteria. Vic, look at this place. Excuse me. This is Vic Vegas, one of the best chefs in America and a restaurant owner. Look at this freaking place. Drop that basket in for me. It's that motor like oil. Black bean soup. I want to see what's in here. Hey, what's shaking with that? What the hell is... Oh, my God. Have you ever seen anything like that in your life? It wasn't that yesterday. Really? There's no logic here. You guys figure it out, Willie. He and you need to clean this kitchen tonight. I won't touch this place like this. Figure it out together, or you're gone. Oh, oh, gee. Fix it. <laughs> 
or get the fuck out of here. Let's go, Vic. Hi, this is John Taffer. Click here to subscribe to Paramount Network on YouTube for more Bar Rescue.